What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English Beat. I'm Katya. Today's lesson is going to be short and I hope useful. We're going to look at the difference between on the way and in the way. Today I've got a huge sty, but I didn't want it to get in the way of making today's lesson. So, are you ready? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook and a pen and let's get going! So, in the first part of today's lesson, we're going to look at on the way, or we can also use a possessive pronoun and we can say on my way, on your way, etc. So, let's look at when we have to use on the way and not in the way. The first situation in which we have to use on the way and not in the way, and we can also use a possessive pronoun on my way, is when something or someone is going, coming or will arrive soon. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, where are you? Coming. I'm on the way, or we can also say I'm on my way. See you in five. The second example, the package is on the way, or we can also say the package is on its way. And one more example, snow is on the way, or once again, we could use a possessive pronoun, snow is on its way. And now let's move to the second situation in which we have to use the preposition on. And it's when something happens during the journey. For example, we stopped to have a drink on the way to the movies. And once again, we could use a possessive pronoun. We stopped to have a drink on our way to the movies. And one more example here. I was stopped by the grocery store on my way home. And once again, we could say on the way home. So we could use my or the interchangeably. Let's move on to the third case when we have to use the preposition on is when we talk about an unborn child. For example, their first child is on the way. So it means that they are expecting their first child. And number four, I've got a very useful verb to be on the way or on your way to doing something. It means you are very close to achieving something. Very important, you have to use ing after to be on the way to doing something. And now let's look at a few examples. The first one, she's on the way to publishing her first book. And one more example here, I'm on the way to hitting 15k. And guys, before we continue and move on to the second part of today's video, just a super quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed to English Bits, please make sure that you do so. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. It's on Sundays at 12 p.m. Thank you. And now let's look at when we have to use the preposition in the way or in my way. So the first case is when something or someone is blocking or stopping you from moving or seeing or doing something. And let's look at some examples. The first one, please, can you move? You are in the way and I can't see the TV. So once again, we can say in the way or we can use a possessive pronoun in my way. The second example, I couldn't see the screen because her head was in the way of my view. And number three, a useful expression a question in this case, am I in your way? You can ask this question when you think that you prevent someone from moving or walking. Another useful expression, get out of the way or get out of my way. So we use it when someone is blocking or preventing us from walking or moving. But be careful because this expression is a little bit Good. Let's move on to the third point. We're going to learn a useful verb 
which is to get in the way or we can also say to stand in the way. It means to be an obstacle and to prevent something from happening. And now let's look at three examples. The first one, his poor English got in the way of winning the contract. The second example, his arrogance gets in the way of getting along with people. And one more example, his mother stood in the way of their wedding. And last but not least, number four, we're going to learn one more useful expression, which is in the way of something. It means relating to, and we use it in negative sentences and in questions when we want to say that something is not available or we want to ask if something is available. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, there isn't much in the way of entertainment in this little village. So in the way of entertainment means relating to entertainment. And a question, what's there in the way of sites in Newcastle? So it's like to ask what's there as for sites, as for interesting places in Newcastle. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this English bit and found it useful. And from now on, the difference between on the way and in the way will be crystal clear. If you learned something new, please don't forget to give this lesson a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to English Bits and catch me on Instagram where I teach English on a daily basis. Thank you for joining me today and see you next Sunday. Ciao for now!